خلينا uh, to go ahead. Can you see the slides? شايفين the slide out? Yes. Okay. طيب. ف we we have been talking about uh, CML last time. And we talked about uh, targeted therapy. We said the most important uh, are the BCR ABL tyrosine kinase inhibitors. With the prototype drug is imatinib. We said that imatinib treatment requires uh, careful monitoring with hematologic, cytogenetic, and molecular uh, responses. We said that sometimes failure of therapy can happen. One of the main reasons are uh, point mutations yeah. that will block the ability of imatinib to bind to uh, BCR ABL ATP binding domain, and so we lose the effect of the drug. And we have several point mutations. one of the very powerful one that can cause loss of drug activity here, T315I point mutation. Okay. Hello, imatinib as a drug, it has several. Uh, adverse effects. Some are relevant to myelosuppression suppression and, and some are uh, uh, relevant to other tissues and organs. Hello. The drug is poten potentially myelosuppressive. Okay, it is expected to see a drop in uh, WBC count or it is expected to cause anemia, it is expected to cause thrombocytopenia. So patients much must be carefully monitored for myelosuppression. Now, regularly, imatinib-induced myelosuppression can happen within the first few weeks of therapy. But بالتالي, complete blood counts analysis is usually done on a weekly basis. Okay? على أساس, إذا في myelosuppression, we have to manage it. Myelosuppression is, is greater in patients who have comorbidities. Our Marda already in um, borderline low level of hemoglobin, um, th uh, thrombocytes, a platelet count, um, advanced age, advanced disease. Okay, they are at higher risk of imatinib induced myelosuppression. Hala, sometimes if it is severe enough, yani is a can il drop in, in the WBC count, for example, is serious or severe thrombocytopenia happened. Sometimes we have to interrupt or stop the drug and manage accordingly. Fa myelosuppression is uh, is is one one adverse effect we have to to, uh, to monitor for imatinib therapy. Other adverse effects include GR toxicity. Uh, imatinib can cause actually fluid retention. It can cause edema. Okay. Hala illa illa the site of, of edema can be variable, but we have to be careful because sometimes patients who might end with uh, pulmonary edema are going to concerns. So, with that, fluid retention can happen. Rash can happen with imatinib. Hala, rash can be mild rash. Okay, you can easily manage with um, um, antihistamines, topical steroids, okay, and keep imatinib. It could be sometimes severe and toxic rash. Now, sometimes is a sarmal patient severe rash with imatinib. We need to see the drug. Can you mute yourself, please? فبالتالي الراش sometimes is manageable, but sometimes it's severe and some patients stop imatinib because of rash. يعني لما رح نحكي هلا about the second generation and other treatments, sometimes imatinib is effective but not tolerated by patients. Okay, and so you have to skip or go to another drug. فبالتالي ال resistance, failure to treatment is one reason to stop the drug or inability to tolerate the adverse effect profile. Okay, can be another reason to stop the drug. But sometimes rash is really toxic and requires uh, the drug uh, to be halted or to stop. Another very important toxicity is uh, hepatotoxicity. So by definition, imatinib is hepatotoxic. We have to monitor hepatic enzymes, hepatic function. When, when we have to stop the drug, yani 
مش اي انكريز بالامينو ترانسفيريزز وي هاف تو جو دايركتلي اند هولد اور ستوب ذا دراج هلا وي مونيتور ذا امينو ترانسفيريز ليفل اي ال تي اي اس تي اوكي ليفر فانكشن اف ذا ليفل انكريزد اكسيدد اوكي ذا انكريز ان ذا اي اس تي اي ال تي اكسيدد فايف تايمز ذا ابر ليميتس اوف ذا نورمال رينج اوكي يعني اكثر من يعني الانكريز بالاي ال تي اس تي اكسيدد كان اعلى من the um, the upper limit by five times then we have to stop the drug okay we have to hold imatinib okay هلا اذا قلنا مثلا انه normally اي ال تي ليفل is zero for example to 50 units for example per liter نفترض So you talk about five times of five, يعني five by fifty, okay? We have only two fifty units. So above two fifty units is a side elevation, okay? Above the five times of the upper normal, you have to hold the drug. But what if the amount is completely, and we wait the liver function to normalize? Is a side normalization, okay, to the liver function and the hepatic enzymes normalized? Then we can reintroduce imatinib. We can give imatinib again. Okay, we can start with 300 milligrams on daily basis. إحنا قلنا إنه regular dose of imatinib in chronic phase هو 400 milligrams daily. هلا إذا بصير هي بعد toxicity, we can start with a 300 milligram, and if within three to six weeks, مثلا, okay. We repeat and hepatic enzymes, hepatic function is okay and continue to be stable for up to 12 weeks, you may increase, go back with, with the dose to 400 milligrams daily. Otherwise, it's okay to stay at 300 milligrams daily. But under any circumstances, we should not titrate or reduce the dose of imatinib below 300. يعني إحنا إذا dose reduction بالإمعتنب, ننزل فيه ل 300 ملي جرام ديلي. But it is not recommended إنه أنا أعمل دوز ريدكشن وأنزل ل 200 ملي جرام ديلي أو 100 ملي جرام ديلي. Do you know why؟ يعني ليش إحنا ما بيصير دوز الإماتنة بيكون أقل من 300 ملي جرام ديلي؟ نادين ممكن الفارماكولوجيكال افكت راح يروح كونه هو كومبتيتيف انهبيتر على الاي تي بي سايت يعني ايش ممكن يصير؟ حيروح الافكت تبعه يعني ما حيعطينا الافكت تبعه اوكي فردوس دكتوره راح يصير ريزيستنس يس جود لأنه لما بيصير the drug concentration at the site of, 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 of action is less than optimal, development of resistance is enhanced. For generally speaking, if you want to do reductions with those, we do not go beyond 300 milligrams on daily basis of imatinib. Okay? If things are fine, that's okay. Is a المريض did not tolerate the drug again or the hepatic function impaired again, Maybe we can switch to another drug because of tolerance issues. Okay. So hepatotoxicity is is also important. Imatinib can also cause uh, a thyroid function disturbances. One can have hypothyroidism. So who we? يعني بدو extensive monitoring. The patient will take imatinib. بدو monitoring to the liver function, to body fluids, to electrolytes. to uh, 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 hepatic function, um, you know, complete blood picture or counts, it needs monitoring, okay, uh, especially in, in the beginning of therapy to make sure that patients tolerate the treatment. Otherwise, patients cannot tolerate, we have to switch to another tyrosine kinase inhibitor. Imatinib was the very first uh, uh, BCR-ABL inhibitor, tyrosine kinase inhibitor. Other drugs were introduced to the market as BCR ABL inhibitors after imatinib. Okay, so we have actually a second generation TKIs. We have uh, mainly three drugs in this group: dazatinib, nilotinib, and bozatinib. Hadole baran second generation tyrosine kinase inhibitors. They are more potent than imatinib. Okay, if you compare the dose, okay, dose of dazatinib 
اقل مثلا بكثير من دوز الاماتنب هلا they showed some advantage to imatinib in, in time to reach a response, okay, um, and in percentage, the rate of reaching complete cytogenetic response. However, they were not better than imatinib in terms of overall survival, for example. For the second generation tyrosine kinase inhibitors are available, some of them, like the zatinib, the latinib, available as first-line treatment or an alternative to imatinib in patients who failed imatinib therapy or were uh, 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 intolerant to imatinib therapy, uh, especially especially if, if the reason of failure was not the gatekeeper mutation. Why? Because the T315I mutation, okay, is also uh, 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 make the, uh, the patient resistant to dazatinib and nilatinib. فبالتالي الدزانتنب والنيلاتنب ممكن نعطيهم إذا في فيلير للإماتنب ثيرابي but they will not be effective against T315I okay? فإذا كان الفيلير سببه uh, uh, a point mutation in the kinase domain of BCR-ABL because of T315I we have to skip dezatinib and we have to skip nilatinib as well because they will not give activity however some other mutations that can happen and make imatinib activity less or cause failure to imatinib therapy, desatinib, nilatinib can be still used. Okay? Fahalla, by approval, homin first line, they can be used as the first drug. You can go and pick desatinib to start your therapy for a CML patient or nilatinib. Or they can be considered as alternatives to imatinib in case of failure or lack of, of treatment uh, tolerance. Al-Bizotinib, we don't know the third generation, it's possible to the second generation, but it's a little bit different from Dazatinib and Nilatinib. The response rate with Dazatinib is a little okay? So يعني, we can consider it as another option, okay? It comes below Dazatinib and Nilatinib and in, in selection. And it is not a first line. You you don't usually go and pick Bozatinib as your very first TKI to try to the patient. So we have available um, many ty tyrosine kinase inhibitors with, with good activity against PCR ABL. هلا مثل ما حكينا المريض يعني شو داي شو داي ستارت امعتنب فيرست اور شو داي ستارت دازاتنب اور نيلاتنب ويتش ون شود شود بي ذا فيرست اوبشن ال ان سي سي ان جايد لاينز او ريكومنديشنز بتقول انه اني اوف ذيز ثري امعتنب دازاتنب نيلاتنب كان بي ا فيرست لاين تريتمنت اوكي هاوفر يعني because imatinib is, is uh, an older drug empiric uh, experience of the mal imatinib. Come on, we have cost issues here. Okay, yani imatinib is uh, more uh, affordable in terms of cost of therapy compared to desatinib, nilatinib. You try imatinib first, okay, and in case of failure or intolerance, we go to desatinib or nilatinib. Hala. If I decided to start desatinib or nilatinib, is that wrong? It is not wrong. The okay. approved as first line TKI inhibitors for CML. But they have some positive cases. But it is not a Okay? But as we said, the considerations are related to the cost of the insurance. There is no advantage to them on the long term, okay, in terms of overall survival compared to imatinib. Many people or clinicians would go with imatinib as the first TKI and consider desatinib or anilatinib as alternatives or um, another option is a sar uh, a failure or resistance the um, tki's uh, they, they they do have uh, differences in the in the um, uh, adverse effect profile okay yani masalan desatinib معروف من ال من ال important serious issues with it. ممكن يعمل plural effusions. ومعظم المرضى who actually do not tolerate desatinib or have to stop therapy, they do it because of plural effusions. Now, if it happened, we try to manage. يعني إذا صار plural effusion مع desatinib, we try to give 
steroids, we try to give uh, antimicrobials. Lacan, if it could not be tolerated, it's better to stop the zatanib and move to another TKI. Nilotinib, masalan, mungkin yamal bilirubin devil elevations. Mungkin yamal arrhythmia, and this is a black box warning, okay, because the drug can cause QT interval prolongation. Is a circuit interval prolongation, what can happen? Yani, ish mungkin yisir, is a dawa increased the QT interval on ECG. Yani, if we are uh, uh, following a patient on nilotinib, laena anno sarma QT interval prolongation. What does that mean? Hada biyaraf, Dana. Yes. It's a guess. I think we have an arrhythmia or cardiac event. Ah, what kind of arrhythmia? Yani, why this is very serious and a black box warning? Ish mungkin yisir akhtu al arrhythmia. Ish mungkin yisir with QT interval prolongation. Mungkin yisir. Ventricular tachyarrhythmia, okay? Mungkin it can develop to ventricular fibrillation, actually. This is fatal. This is a black box warning. Um, any black box warning? Mary Ale could term. Black box. What does it mean? Mishkul adverse effects or drug related information are put in black boxes in leaflet or in data sheet about the war. Kilometer black box implies what? Awesome. Sure, you know, they side effects but can lead to death or you know, a very severe injury, very serious injury that could lead to death. Yes, yani the black box warning who way a kind of alarming tool. OK, yani the, the FDA wants to bring the attention of the healthcare professionals and uh, MDs, our pharmacists, that this is something, a very important piece of information. And this is um, uh, uh, alarming. OK, this is very serious. So, بالتالي, these information relevant to administration or adverse effect or interactions that are very serious with drugs, then help within, opting cut up, within black boxes. فعشان هيك نقول له black box warning. يعني هذا الدواء إذا المريض عنده uh, non case of, of uh, cardiac arrhythmia or on chronic therapy with other drugs that can prolong QT, nilotinib is not a good choice in this case. And if you start nilotinib, you have to do ECG regularly and follow cardiac electricity. Okay, this is important. هلا ال ال Buzotinib, like we said, is the most important thing we call the therapy. It comes after the Zatinib, Nilotinib. It can cause GI toxicity, that's common rash and abdominal discomfort. Okay? The efficacy response on the Buzotinib is relatively less than the Zatinib and Nilotinib. Now, we have third generation TKIs, which are BCR-ABL TKI. Okay? We have one drug here, we call it Bunatinib. And bunatinib has a very um, specific chemical structure, okay, different from the first generation, second generation, which allow the drug to keep its activity even in the presence of T315I mutation, okay? Falbunatinib uh, usually is reserved to patients with CML and T315I mutation. But how we miss me in the adwiya, the we have to bring first line. Okay. Uh, is the marida into T315I? Then you have to skip the second generation and go to punatinib. But if the resistance to imatinib, for example, is not T315I, second generation uh, nilotinib, desatinib, they might work. Okay, but we don't jump to punatinib. Because of this unique thing about the drug that it acts in the presence of the gatekeeper mutation, we save it to patients who, who have this or patients who fail, who fail other second generation tyrosine kinase inhibitors. Yani, after it patient uh, started uh, imatinib, um, intolerance to imatinib, we skipped to uh, nilotinib, saw resistance and nilotinib, masalan. Then after a trial of maybe two or more TKIs and you are not reaching the goals, you can go to punatinib 
فهو بيجي من last options we save the drug أو إذا من البداية I have T three fifteen I mutation then go directly to ponatinib because the second generation will not work with this T three fifteen I. هلا it is effective. Okay, especially against T three fifteen I, but it has a lot of toxicity. Okay, so I think there black box warnings with ponatinib. يعني واحدة منها هي sudden death. فهو a serious drug. Okay, uh, it can cause يعني sudden liver uh, failure أو أو hepatotoxicity severe and sharp and fulminant. ممكن يعمل uh, uh, heart failure. Okay, فهذا الدواء uh, يعني given to the patients who are actually in need of ponatinib or, or we, we really don't have other options but to go to ponatinib, okay? So we have third generation um, TKI inhibitor for patients with third chromosome positive CML. TKIs, most of them, they are substrates to CP450, okay? فبالتالي we expect drug interactions because of co-administered drugs or herbal remedies, for example, that can change the activity of CP450. The big table in the book, in the textbook, talking about uh, drug interactions, talking about the administration. Okay, this is important uh, um, uh, table. فبالتالي إذا أنا بدي أعطي إماتنف for example أو نيلاتنف they are substrates to CP450 3A4 mostly some other CP450 also are important in metabolism ف I have to, to, to think about potential drug interactions يعني مثلا إذا أنا أعطيت مريض إماتنف أو نيلاتنف ومين وايد مثلا I have to start some other drug therapy like um, for example, for seizure disorder, I started carbamazepine, or I take, for example, phenytoin, or I take valproic acid. Okay, I take, for example, some other chronic therapy that can highly change, induce, or inhibit CP450 activity. We have to carefully monitor the drug therapy, our anti-cancer drug, our TKI in this case, because it's expected that we either lose activity because of extensive metabolism or clearance, or if, if the metabolism is inhibited, the drugs becomes more toxic. Okay? In, in, in certain TKIs, for example, imatinib, okay? Imatinib is a substrate to P450, and at the same time, it is an inhibitor of CP450. فبالتالي, the drug interactions with imatinib goes both ways. Its own metabolism might be changed with co-administered drugs, and it can inhibit the metabolism of co-administered drugs. هلا, TKIs ما, يعني ما a very well-established therapeutic uh, drug level monitoring. يعني, للإماتنب في عندي يعني في عندي uh, reference range level okay that you can get idea you know the patient is doing well or uh, expected to respond very good is a kind of drug level in this level above this trough level for example لكن so far يعني إحنا ما عنا يعني good kits or good tools uh, to to measure the 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 drug level in in, um, in blood and to correlate the level with the adverse effect profile or efficacy, okay? فبالتالي, يعني إحنا, we are guided basically by the patient clinical presentation and the other, يعني, well-documented um, uh, outcomes لإلاقة بالهيماتولوجيك response, cytogenetic and molecular. ف if drug interactions are expected or if the drug interactions could be very serious, Maybe it's better from the very beginning to modify therapy. يعني إذا أنا بعرف إنه I have to add an anti-seizure drug. Maybe it's better to think of a drug that does not have a lot of effect on CP450, for example. أو مثلاً أعطي دواء الميتابوليزم تبعه is not mainly influencing 3A4, maybe. يعني we modify it ahead. Better than needing to adjust later on the treatment or in a severe failure because of a reason of toxicity with the patient. Okay, so drug interactions are extremely important. 
Administration كمان في table مكتوب فيه Administration كمان كتير مهم okay. وفي table لل Adverse Effect Profile for the different TKIs this is also important okay. and what monitoring is necessary along with the drug is administered في هاي tables عندكم بالكتاب I think there are two big tables in the textbook يعني read it carefully مهم كتير ف ال 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 cornerstone in CML management and as we said most patients have a fairly from some positive disease is to start at TKI okay هلا the other options we have okay we have one one drug called amastaxan هذا عبارة عن cephalotaxan ester هو عبارة عن protein inhibitor okay it inhibits protein synthesis it does not directly bind inhibit PCR ABL Okay, uh, constitutively active enzyme like TKIs. Il omacitaxin, احنا بنعتبره salvage regimen. Okay, and yani patients who try more than two TKIs uh, and did not respond or were intolerant. Okay, you can then try omacitaxin. The good thing about omacitaxin, it is effective. Okay, in patients who have the gatekeeper T315I mutation. فواحد من الاوبشنز اوكي along with bunatinib if if the reason to failure of therapy was T315I we can consider omacitaxin طبعا هو subcutaneous administration يعني مش مش كثير convenient okay compared to TKIs but it's an option okay it mostly causes uh, myelial suppression okay يعني الدواء كثير myelial suppressive Patient must be monitored carefully, okay, for signs of infection, uh, complete blood picture, and so on. The disease حكينا إحنا in CML, most patients are diagnosed in the chronic phase, okay, but we have patients who can be diagnosed at the time of presentation when they first seek medical attention. They could be already in the accelerated phase, or some patients, يعني. يعني badly بيكونوا بي ال ال plastic crisis. هلا if the patient presented in accelerated phase, okay, can we start the tyrosine kinase inhibitors? Yes, we can. يعني إحنا قلنا إنه بي ال chronic phase, if you do local reduction, okay, أو إذا عطينا hydroxyurea, we directly then go to the imatinib therapy or TKI. In AP phase, phase same thing. لكن we might need to push the dose a little bit up of imatinib. يعني الكلينيكال ترايلز مكتوبة عندكم بالكتاب they compared imatinib uh, different doses in AP patients لقيوا انه if you start 600 milligrams daily you get better response okay and the, the side effect profile um, the incidence the grade of the adverse effect is not different from 400 milligrams daily ف it is recommended in AP phase because it's little bit um, more aggressive disease, okay, to start a little bit higher dose with imatinib. Okay, and if we start in AP with imatinib particularly, recommended to go to 600 milligrams daily. بينما بالكرونيك phase, the initial dose recommended to start with imatinib is 400 milligrams daily. Okay? هلأ, the response rate بالaccelerated phase أكيد أقل. يعني, um, Less percentage of patients can reach complete cytogenetic response, okay, or major molecular uh, uh, response compared to chronic phase, okay. But still, still, you can stabilize the disease or at least prevent the patient from proceeding or the disease to get into the blastic crisis phase, okay. Hello. بال plastic crisis, as we said, the percentage of blasts is a huge, above 30 percent. Okay, patient is usually symptomatic with liver involvement, spleen, spinomegaly, hepatomegaly, CBC abnormalities, and so on. But how aggressive phase of the disease? Most TKIs, okay, second generation, or will imatinib, they are not that good to go for with plastic crisis. فبالتالي بالبلاستيك كرايسيس وي هاندل ذا بيشنت از اكيوت ليكيميا كيس يعني وي نيد كيموثيرابي تو انديوس ريميشن اوكي هلا الموست امبورتنت ريجيمن ان بلاستيك كرايسيس سي ام ال از كولد ذا فاك ريجيمن 
ال V stands for etoposide, and the other name for etoposide is VP16. Okay. A for set arabine, لأنه اسمه الثاني RSE. Okay, if you recall from AML, this is very important drug. And C for carboplatin, platinum drug. So we call it VAC regimen. Okay. هلا شو the goal of of chemotherapy in blast crisis? We try to to make the blast percentage go down, okay, and reverse the phase to chronic phase. يعني إحنا بنحاول ننزل the blast count اللي هو above thirty in these patients لننزل تحت the ten percent, okay. وكأنما I now downsized the disease ونزلت من the more advanced blast crisis down to the chronic phase, okay. Generally speaking. يعني the success rate or the ability to to maintain survival with blast crisis is very very short. ف يعني our goal is to reach okay um يعني ال ال hematologic outcome our response cytogenetic response with chemotherapy but usually يعني if achieved بتكون short term okay ما بتكون maintained for long term. Will overall survival not be found by the patient that good? Okay, and this is really an aggressive form of the disease. Now, luckily, not many patients when they come are present with CML. Very few patients are actually presenting in blast crisis. Okay, but in blast crisis, we rely on chemotherapy and we treat as an acute leukemia case with a VAC regimen. طبعا الاتوبوسايد حدا بعرف which which group which class of chemotherapeutics is a tetraposide هو شو dynamics how it works طيب شو toxicity تبعته حدا بعرف No idea. طيب. هلا ال ال the only cure actually you can get with CML who were with hematopoietic stem cell transplant with the allogenic transplant is favored. Okay. بما إنه معظم المرضى يعني the vast majority of CML patients are usually above the sixties. Okay, it's a disease of elderly. The procedure, allogenic hematopoietic stem cell transplant, usually is not doable to most patients, and usually it carries very high risks of mortality or complications. To find a, a match, a donor, command is challenging. Okay, for the elderly patient. فبالتالي, يعني عادة if if patients' disease are stabilized على tyrosine kinase inhibitors. There is no need to consider allogenic hematopoietic stem cell transplant. Hala, some patients who might fail tyrosine kinase inhibitors. Okay, yani masan jara to the two, three, and I'm not reaching the goal. How the disease is getting worse, or fee progression, then you might consider. You have to think about the potentials to consider allogenic hematopoietic stem cell transplant. Okay. The 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 transplant outcomes. يعني if you do transplantation with allogenic hematopoietic stem cells, كل ما كان ال patient in in early phases. يعني if if you if you do it in the chronic phase, it's better than accelerated blast crisis. كل ما كان patient younger in age. Okay. يعني كل ما كانت ال outcomes of the transplant or the 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 risk of relapse after transplant much less. Okay, and the outcomes better to sustain uh, or maintain the the disease under control. Okay, لكن هلا يعني هو مش common أو routine لأنه the tyrosine kinase inhibitors introduced now we have many in the market. فبالتالي we can achieve uh, a good level of control and high response without the need to do hematopoietic stem cell transplant. هلا some patients who do the transplantation, they might relapse, okay? Relapse after transplantation is generally a, a bad sign. Okay? It's not a good signal, okay? 
طيب what can we do؟ هدول البيشنس يصير عندهم relapse after transplantation. What what are the options we have؟ هلا one of the options is to again try to arsenic kinase inhibitors. Okay. واحنا قلنا لهدول المرضى كمان بيكونوا candidates to interferon alpha. اللي احنا حكينا one of the indications to interferon alpha in CML هو relapse after adrenaline transplantation. We can also do graft versus leukemia. We can uh, introduce or give uh, um, a donor cytotoxic T lymphocytes that can recognize and attack and kill leukemia cells in the host. Okay. Um, this is again one option. Taban Hon Fiena issues with rejection and uh, graft versus host disease and so on. But this is again one option. A mastodaxin could be another option. Okay. To patients who relapse after transplantation. التايكي ايز مثل ما حكيت بقدر نعملهم بس the benefit يعني not huge يعني we don't expect a great response on تيكي ايز okay for patients who relapse after the uh, transplantation ففي عندنا options ممكن الانترفيرونز هون كمان commonly indicated okay for relapse after uh, the allogenic transplantation ال 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 patients who have CML okay and uh, as I said, mostly they come in chronic phase. Uh, their response in general, okay, to, to tyrosine kinase inhibitors, the first generation or the second generation is usually good, okay? Hala, is a SAR failure or lack of tolerance, we can switch from one tyrosine kinase inhibitor to another. Hala, مثل ما حكيت, البناتن particularly, okay, احنا بنعتبره reserved to cases where you have T315I mutation, okay? But if I want to change between the first line, عادةً I can switch between imatinib, nilotinib, dizatinib, okay? The omacitaxin is an option and bizatinib for more advanced uh, cases or patients who fail second line um, tyrosine kinase inhibitors, okay? So I'm going to them a kind of salvage therapy, an option that you try at the very end. Because of toxicity, because of, um, you know, يعني كمان the efficacy مثلاً مع البزاتنب is not as high, okay. فإحنا بنخليهم هدول to the to the end if patients uh, become uh, intolerant أو إذا المرضى failed the first line uh, tyrosine kinase inhibitors, okay. فهذا بالنسبة لـ الـ 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 CML. في أي سؤال about CML before we go to CLL? في أي حدا عنده سؤال عن اللي حكيناه؟ أوكي طيب. Now we will go to CLL Chronic Lymphocytic Leukemia. ال ال Chronic Lymphocytic Leukemia is is basically um, you know, is, is a proliferative order of a B cell. Okay, so it's B cell leukemia. Okay, the um, CLL uh, in the United States, okay, is hey, the most common form of leukemia in the adults. But in other communities or other ethnicities or countries, it's not as common. Okay, so in, in, in in terms of, of incidence among adults, CLL in the U.S. is, is more prevalent. Actually, CLL is more challenging to treat. يعني إذا إحنا بنحكي in terms of comparing the clinic leukemia, يعني إذا أقارن أنا CLL and CML, okay? CLL is more aggressive disease. هلا رح نحكي why. وكمان is, is harder to treat, okay? More challenging to treat. وكمان التريتمنت بالسي ال ان يعني the drugs we use and the chemotherapy we use يعني is, is potentially more toxic okay with with more complications فهي very يعني very aggressive disease actually سي ال ال again it's a disease of the elderly with median age in, in 70s يعني معظم patients when they are diagnosed with سي ال ال they're around the age of 70s okay the disease هو ممكن يكون mild, indolent, ممكن يكون very aggressive based on the clone of B cell. Okay. But إحنا عندنا المشكلة هون إنه the B lymphocytes, certain clones of the B lymphocytes. Okay. They are unable to differentiate into uh, a healthy and functional immune B cell. 
اوكي and they start to accumulate in blood bone marrow وبالتالي بيعملوا لي ال 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 سي ال 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 بي سيل ان سي ال ال هي ات ريتينز يعني بتكون سي دي 20 بوزيتيف كمان بتكون سي دي 5 بوزيتيف اوكي and these start to accumulate sometimes in in lymphatic tissue وعشان هيك احيانا يعني CLL might transform to lymphoma. من هون بتيجي ال يعني يعني the the really notorious thing about CLL يعني في عدد لا بأس به بنحكي 5% تقريبا 4% of CLL patients they they can have the disease the chronic lymphoid leukemia transformed into aggressive non-Hodgkin lymphoma, B-cell lymphoma. Okay, فهذا transition can happen sometimes because of more genetic errors or environmental factors, infections. رح نحكي عنها. فدائما ال patient at risk of transformation. If this transformation happens, usually the the treatment is more challenging and the disease is more aggressive. فا ال ال C L L is a little bit challenging to treat the B cells. Uh, the abnormal B cell clone, okay, can accumulate in, in lymphatic tissue, in spleen, and lymph nodes. The, the cells divide, proliferate at very high rate, and we lose the ability to differentiate, or even we lose the control with the program death, yani in epitotic pathways, impaired. But these cells are abnormal, and they keep proliferating and differentiating in bone marrow and blood, and even in lymph nodes. فهو very aggressive disease. CLL is aggressive. هلا في risk factors, okay, that can put certain uh, patient at higher risk. يعني مثلاً لو إنه male gender هو at higher risk of CLL than female gender. The white ethnicity. طبعا إحنا عم نحكي عن حسب the US data, okay. The white ethnicity كانوا أكثر risk أو the incidence of CLL. The presence of a family history definitely increase risk of any cancer including CLL and advancing in age. Okay, يعني كل ما زاد ال age تبع ال patient the risk انه يصير CLL كمان بيكون أكثر. هلا ال ال CLL unlike CML يعني احنا بال CML كنا نقول انه في very unique uh, 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 يعني uh, finding cytogenic abnormality with the Philadelphia chromosome and this is like a hallmark of CML. بالسي ال ال بنلاقي كثير يعني بنلاقي يمكن 80% of the patients عندهم some karyotypic abnormality لكن ما عندنا this uh, single أو characterized أو unique uh, 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 cytogenetic or karyotypic abnormality okay. يعني ما عندنا شيء very specific ف the research is going on to try to understand the genomics of the CLL يعني شو في بهاي ال abnormal B cells that uh, give rise to CLL what could be a, a very important signaling pathway أو مثلا جين uh, أو, أو uh, downstream protein أو transcription factor that uh, is very important to the survival and proliferation so we can we can mark that specific protein or enzyme or whatever uh, as a target for drug therapy يعني the basic science is starting to, to find good targets بال CLL لأنه معظم الأدوية هي still we use steroids, we use chemotherapy. Okay, فعم بنحاول نفهم ال basic biology of the chronic lymphoid leukemia cell ف يعني leukemia عشان نعرف what can we target to treat CLL. ف one of the, of the uh, يعني recent uh, uh, important pathways أو, أو signaling uh, molecules in CLN has been defined as the BTK, uh, Broughton star synkinase. The BTK is about a non-receptor star synkinase, okay, downstream of the B-cell receptor. The BTK is interconnected to many important mitogenic pathways. يعني if, if BTK is constitutively active, okay, it will activate PI3K. The PI3K or the phosphonesterol 3 kinase, very important pathway. يعني 
انا ما بدي ادخل كثير بالسيجنالينج اي دونت ثينك يو هاف ذا باك جراوند بس احنا بنحكي سيل سيجنالينج وي هاف ذا ريسبتورز اند ذن وي هاف the downstream molecules that, that takes the message and signal, okay? ففي عنا ال PI3K, okay? PI3K can actually activate AKT, AKT activates NF-kappa-B, and NF-kappa-B is a transcription factor that goes to the nucleus, يعني uh, recognize certain response elements on the DNA and eventually if NF-kappa-B is, is translocated to nucleus and activated, this will cause proliferation and will push the cell to go to the next phase in cell cycle and divide. AKT inhibit or uh, stop the death signal, okay, and allow the cell to survive. Same thing with, with um, you know, uh, ARC and the MAP kinase pathway. بمعنى ثاني انه ال BTK enzyme او تارسين كينيز is is connected to several other uh, important mitogenic uh, um, uh, signaling pathways in the CLL in the chronic lymphoid leukemia cell. Okay. ف this could be now considered as a drug target if we inhibit BTK with the specific inhibitors, if we design specific inhibitors to BTK, we should be able to stop the proliferation and survival of the CLL, okay? فهذا هلا من من ال من ال pathways or the molecules that are getting attention in 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 a trial to personalize or or design targeted drugs for CLL patients, okay? هلا مثل ما حكيت ال CLL why it is a dangerous uh, disease أو يعني really يعني perceived as as really aggressive type of leukemia because of the potential that leukemia cells transform to lymphoma cells. Okay, if this transformation happens, we call it a uh, Richter's syndrome. فلما أنا بحكي إنه four percent or five percent of CLL patients. Okay. They can uh, uh, they can become patients with with non-Hodgkin lymphoma and the more aggressive form. يعني they they become a diffuse large B cell lymphoma. اللي هي عبارة عن aggressive form of non-Hodgkin lymphoma. We have two types of non-Hodgkin: the the follicular and the diffuse, the aggressive diffuse large B cell. But when they transform. When CLL patients transform, they actually transform and become the more aggressive form of non-Hodgkin. But I'm going to say 4% of CLL patients, this is not a small percentage. Okay? 4%, 5% is not a small percentage. But the transformation here is sort of, it can happen. Now, what causes CLL to, to transform to lymphoma is not still clear. Yani, أكيد في certain, um, factors that contributed to more genetic uh, errors, uh, infections. We're going to talk EBV, Ebastian Barr virus. Okay, infection can can cause CLL transformation to diffuse large B cell and Hodgkin lymphoma. The problem here with transformation, yani, okay, we can treat a diffuse large B cell and Hodgkin lymphoma with specific treatments or with the ARCHO protocol. Lacking the original clones, the CLL clones, are not good, uh, will not respond in a good way to the diffuse large B cell lymphoma treatment. فبالتالي, it's like, you know, it's like you are treating two challenging blood cancers uh, that do not respond one to the other in a good way. So it really complicates the scenario. يعني, it becomes really some, some kind of a very aggressive and bad presentation if the patient transformed, but transformation rate is not low. Okay, they get become uh, uh, diffuse large B cell lymphoma. But that's why it's aggressive. cure actually B C L L is very unlikely. يعني to cure the disease صعب كتير لأنه ال chemotherapeutic drugs are very toxic و complications many complications ف يعني احنا بنحاول to stabilize the disease and control the symptoms very very low percentage of patients can be actually cured with CLL ف 
فهذا كمان another challenge in the treatment of CLM. فبالتالي إحنا في عنا B cell abnormal B cell that is you know proliferating. تعمل لي ال ال CLL picture. ال ال يعني the presentation just like most leukemias, ما عندي very specific signs and symptoms. بال advanced stages ممكن يصير في يعني lymph node involvement, liver involvement, hepatic يعني enlargement, hepatomegaly, splenomegaly ممكن أشوفها. ممكن يصير changes بال immunoglobulin levels. This is common. يعني we see we see change in immunoglobulin level. Okay, the المرضى اللي عندهم CLL. We look at the bone marrow. بنلاقي hypercellular, يعني accumulating lymphoblasts of of B cell. Okay. وفي عنا certain molecular markers or cytogenetics رح نحكي عنها. Okay, very important in terms of prognosis. Anemia, thrombocytopenia, just like most leukemias. Okay, um, yeah, the picture is not is not very unique or specific, just like most leukemias. In the staging system, uh, we have two different staging systems, but I'll talk about the one adopted in the USA, the whole rise staging system. The rise staging system divides patients with CLL into stage O, stage 1 and 2, and stage 3 and 4. Okay. Hello, by definition, when I say this is CLL rise staging, uh, stage O, in a fee staging system, then will benefit, but we're going to talk rise staging. The patient becomes stage O, who is by definition low risk patient. What does that mean? And now the CLL uh, cells. The, the leukemia cells are not very aggressive, okay, are not highly proliferating. They are CLL cells, but their potential to divide and grow is not huge, is not very high. But how do we do some sort of يعني, indolent, slowly progressing disease? Okay, how do the patients live in stage O, our low risk? The survival time in them is the highest compared to the other stages. رح نحكي بالمانجمنت sometimes you can treat and sometimes you can hold treatment in, in, in the, the, the early stages of, of CLL. Uh, ال intermediate risk, okay, هون بيكونوا stages 1 and 2. هون إنه لا يعني there is more, a little bit more um, aggressive disease. ال, ال stages 1 and 2, يعني the patient هون ممكن, ممكن يكون symptomatic and sometimes in stage 1 they might be asymptomatic. Okay. The survival time أقل من stage O لكن أفضل من advanced stage أو high risk من stage 3 and 4. فبالتالي لما أنا بحكي stage 3 or 4 uh, on rise staging for CLL, I'm talking about high risk, poor survival and this is a must to treat يعني we have to treat. Hatta the stage two, sarahatan, we have to brew must to treat on the rise staging system. For the gray area here with stage one, basically stage O, most patients are not. We hold therapy. Okay, we watch the patient. رح نحكي هلا بالmanagement. فهاد the staging system. Okay, هو المستخدم بالUNITED STATES. There are other staging systems, but we will follow this one. هلا مثل ما حكيت يعني إحنا ما في عنا specific gene okay اللي هو associated with with the development of CLL مثلاً ال ال karyotypic abnormalities معظم المرضى بيكون عندهم changes in activity of certain tumor suppressor genes or oncogenes very common okay but we have a few we have a few that that have prognostic impact شو يعني يعني ما بتأثر على ال diagnosis لكن بتأثر على ال to predict response to therapy or to select the treatment. Okay. ف we have three different markers اللي هم مكتوبين عندكم بالكتاب. Okay. CD38, ZAP70, and 17P. The CD38 هو glycoprotein um, service marker. Okay. If, 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 if the B cell was CD38 positive, this is considered a uh, يعني a bad prognostic uh, uh, marker. يعني this means 
the the disease is more aggressive the survival is is less and in the and cd the presence of cd38 indicates that prognosis which means you no know, disease more aggressive and we have to treat more aggressively cd38 positive same thing with zap 70 and 17p if they exist in zap 70 who are about on tyrosinkinase uh, uh, intracellular tyrosinkinase is a can موجود at the zap 70 it also implies bad prognosis okay yani ال yani survival is less okay the disease is more aggressive deletion of of the of the 17 arm uh, short uh, arm of the chromosome 17 of 17 p okay this is associated with loss of p53 uh, activity p53 is a major tumor suppressor gene okay so is a sar deletion on the short arm of of chromosome 17 this will cause silencing of p53 the the gene cannot be expressed but we lose the tumor suppressive activity of p53 it also implies poor uh, prognostic poor survival poor response to therapy and so on for most patients with cll for for productive purposes you know shan and araf yani how the disease will respond to therapy what should i expect uh, in in the meanwhile or the timeline taba al marad adatan we we screen for these three cytogenetics fa hadol al talata okay any of them any of them if it exists okay we consider it a high risk cytogenetic Okay, when I'm looking high risk cytogenetics in CLL patients, usually the patient has at least one of these three. Okay, for the other one, we're talking about management. When old patients with high risk cytogenetics, it means one of these exists. Okay, for the staging, مهم يعني أنا بالstaging, the stage will guide me on on how to treat the patient. Okay, but the stage is not enough. Okay, we with this stage we need another prognostic factors. Usually, one we need to do one of these, or at least we have to know the status of these is a canu existing or not. by definition high risk. and high risk cytogenetics. Okay. stage O. Okay, is. Uh, يعني median survival is almost 10 years. Okay, type. هلا المريض اللي بيجي CLL عمره in in 70s. خلينا نفترض إنه إجا patient عمره 72 or 74 years old. عنده stage O, right, uh, CLL. و asymptomatic. Okay, و و ما عنده مثلا uh, severe signs of um, uh, يعني, uh, hematologic abnormalities ما كان عنده extensive uh, مثلا uh, lymphocytosis ما كان عنده bad uh, uh, symptoms أو حتى bad cytogenetics يعني all in all عنده CLL but not really bad or aggressive أو كان asymptomatic هدول مرضى اللي بالstage O بيكونوا asymptomatic ما بيكون عندهم poor cytogenetics and so on we usually hold therapy يعني بنوقف الثيرابي Okay, مش يعني ما بنعطيه therapy. We wait and watch. هلا ال watchful waiting. Okay, هذا approach كتير مهم ورح نحكي عنه كمان باللينفوما. Sometimes you don't go ahead directly and start therapy. We we wait and watch the patient. فهدول المرضى اللي هم stage O CLL. Especially إذا كانوا elderly. Okay, إحنا we hold chemotherapy or treatment and we watch. As long as the disease is stable, we hold the treatment at any sign of disease progression, any symptom, any lab finding, any sign, clinical sign, in our disease progression, we treat. We can hold therapy. We can just watch the patient. Label stage O, expectant management. We wait and see. ليه هدول المرضى subject لهذا النوع من ال من the treatment approach? Why you think? مين بيعرف؟
لانه السيلز ان ذس كيس ار نوت فيري اجريسيف يعني احنا وي لوك ات ذا 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 لايف اكسبكتنسي اوكي مثلا مريض جاي بالسبعينات اللايف اكسبكتنسي عنده بلس 5 اور 10 ييرز اون افريج اوكي If I hold therapy, okay, as long as the disease is stable, بهاي الحالة ما في داعي أعرض the patient to the risk of the um, chemotherapeutic drugs and their own toxicity. And يعني sometimes the toxicity of the chemotherapy could be, يعني more dangerous than waiting or letting the disease uh, stabilize itself. فإذا أنا بتوقع إن the life expectancy is short, not long. The the cells the the leukemia cells are not very aggressive. The patient is asymptomatic. The stage is very يعني mild or early stage. في هاي الحالة I can hold treatment but keep monitoring the patient. I keep watching the patient. Be أول أول sign of disease progression you treat. Okay. The stage O على the rise staging. إحنا ممكن نعمل hold, watch and wait. Stage one, he is way gray area. يعني some some people or some schools, okay, يكون عن stage one راي. بيقولوا إنه we have to treat. لازم نعطي chemotherapy. وفي schools بتقول لا. Hold chemotherapy in stage one. لأنه كمان إحنا بنعتبرها يعني مش very aggressive stage or phase of the disease. بالتالي خلي المريض على hold. لكن إذا إجا بستيج 1 وكان سمتوماتيك أو the, the, the cells were really aggressive the doubling time تبعهم very short which means they divide very fast أو عنده high risk cytogenetics then you can treat فإذا stage 1 okay you can proceed with treatment and sometimes you can hold the treatment but definitely if the cells they are uh, proliferating at high rate. The patient is symptomatic, hematologic abnormalities, cytogenetics, abnormal, high-risk cytogenetics. We have to treat in stage one disease. Stage two through through four, treat directly. We have to treat regardless is it an المريض عنده high-risk cytogenetics or not. The high-risk cytogenetics بهاي الحالة ممكن إنه to guide me for my therapy selection. Is it can high risk cytogenetics? What combination of drugs I have to go for? Okay, like in Sawa and do high risk or ma and do high risk cytogenetics, stage two, three, or four, you have to treat. Okay, Mitten Mahakit shall potential and not to cure CLL. And it's very, yani not high. Okay, the cure with CLL is not really high. The cornerstone in CLL treatment is chemotherapy. Hala, fi targeted treatment li hume anti CD20 drugs or anti CD52. Mumkin is takdim hum monoclonal antibodies, but chemotherapy with steroids or glucocorticoid hume el cornerstone. Okay? إذا بتتذكروا لما حكينا عن ال ALL, قلنا إنه ال lymphocytes. They are very sensitive to the steroid treatment. Okay, steroids are immunosuppressive. They they suppress lymphocytes. But with the CLL, the best combination is a chelating chemotherapy drug plus a glucocorticoid or corticosteroid. هلا زمان كانوا يعطوا ال ال الكيموثيرابي alone. يعني كانوا يعطوا single agent chlorambucil. كانوا يعطوا single agent cyclophosphamide. هلا في ريسبونس اكيد لكن الكومبينيشن ابروتش امبروفز ذا ريسبونس يعني ادينج ستيرويد اند ادينج ا تارجتد ثيرابي كان اكشولي امبروف هايلي امبروف الريسبونس ريت توكسيسيتي اكيد رح تزيد لكن الريسبونس ريت سبيشالي ان ذا بيشنتس هو اكشولي كان توليريت كيموثيرابي بيكون كتير أفضل لما بنعطيهم إحنا the combination. فالكورنر ستون was a chemotherapy and alkylating chemotherapeutic drug with a steroid. ال 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 common أو ال popular uh, chemotherapeutic drugs we use in CLL. Uh, cyclophosphamide, chlorambucil, uh, fludarabine, pentostatin رح نحكي عنهم. ال 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 chlorambucil is it still in use? Well, actually, some clinicians recommend the chlorambucil to the elderly patient. The cyclophosphamide is very popular, highly in use. Okay, 
in, in, in CLL in combination with the steroid and rituximab. المرضى اللي اللي كانوا ياخذوا كلورامبيسيل and they fail or do not respond to the drug, they actually uh, uh, can respond to cyclophosphamide. Okay. هلا ممكن ال concerns of cyclophosphamide has to do with the toxicity, bladder toxicity, hemorrhagic cystitis. But we try to give cyclophosphamide in the protocols because it's very effective and we try to manage for the toxicity. Okay. يعني cyclophosphamide يمكن من أهم ال alkylating agents إنها تكون موجودة ب CLL uh, chemotherapeutic protocols. The other drugs اللي كمان إحنا بنستخدمهم ال ال group of purine analogs. Fluid arabine is very 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 popular. وكثير يعني highly introduced into CLL regimens. يعني if you add fluid arabine to the to the regimen. Response rate jumps high. كتير بتتحسن ال response rate. هلا هو is potentially toxic drug. Okay, but if if you compare fluid arabine to other alkylating agents or even to other purine analogs, يعني cladribine and pentostatin they they belong to the same family of fluid arabine. هم purine analogs. Fluid arabine DNA uh, polymerase inhibitor. Okay, فا فا ال 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 دوايين هدول in use, but they are less popular than fluid arabine. Fluid arabine works very nice in combination with cyclophosphamide uh, and in, in, in cases a steroid or uh, a targeted therapy is added. كل ما كان المريض younger in age, كل ما قدر يتحمل الفلود arabine أكتر. Okay. In elderly patients, okay, يعني you can still consider fluid arabine, but يعني بيتعبهم كثير وبيعملهم يعني سيفيرلي مايلو سبريسيف اوكي وهي المشكله الاساسيه مع الفلود ارابين مايلو سبريشن اوكي ف اتس ا فيري جود دراج ريكومنديشنز انه كونسيدر فلود ارابين ان يور تريتمنت بروتوكول بس وي هاف تو كيرفولي مونيتور فور مايلو سبريشن اند ايفن بريفنت انفكشنز ذات كان هابن فاذا انا بدي اعطي الفلود ارابين للمريض اللي عنده سي ال ال اي هاف تو اكسبكت مايلو سبريشن اتس هايلي مايلو سبريسيف الفلود ارابين بيعمل يعني فيري سبيسيفيك نيوتروبينيا احنا بنقولها برولونجد اند ديليت يعني نيوتروبينيا ذات كان هابن وذ فلود ارابين ما بتكون اكيوت و ات تيكس تايم تو هابن يعني بتلاحظوا انه الفلود ارابين بيزد ريجيمنتس السايكل تبعتها يعني كل قديش بيجي المريض بياخذ السايكل اتس ا ليتل بيت ديليد يعني اي نيد لايك 28 دايز تو ريبيت ذا سايكل ليش؟ لانه نيوتروبينيا وذ فلود ارابين كان هابن ممكن بالاسبوع الثالث بعد ما انا اخذ الدواء او حتى بدايه الاسبوع الرابع فات كان هابن اند ات يوجوالي تو سي ات تو ديتكت يعني لما اجي انا اعمل سي بي سي مثلا واحسب الابسوليوت نيوتروفيل كاونت إذا بدي أعيد البروتوكول بعد أسبوعين ممكن ما يطلع عندي نيوتروبينيا بس هذا لا يعني it's not there okay or it might not happen لأنه عادة بتكون late فالفلودارابين is highly myelosuppressive um, the neutropenia is, is delayed and prolonged and sustained the risk of infection is very high فعشان هيك فلودارابين based regimen لما بيكون في فلودارابين بالبروتوكول We are concerned of fungal infections, bacterial and viral infections. يعني في risk إنه يصير مع المريض herpes simplex infections, zoster infections, يعني viral infections. So as a routine, okay, as a routine with a fluid arabine based regimen, يعني المريض لما بيأخذ fluid arabine سواء for CLL or other treatments. We usually on routine we recommend antimicrobials. يعني هذا المريض عادة رح يأخذ a cyclovir for viral infection prophylaxis. رح يأخذ antibacterial. عادة نعطيهم fluoroquinolones. وعادة ممكن يأخذوا كمان sometimes they add antifungals. Okay, sometimes they add trimethoprim sulfamethoxazole. For non-cystic gyrovisi. يعني بيعطوا package of antimicrobials because actually the risk. With fluid arabine for myelo suppression is high. Plus, keep in mind, in the مريض اللي عنده CLL, actually you are losing the B cell, which is a very important defensive cell, a part of humoral immunity. 
ممكن الاميونو جلوبولين كاونت ينزل عند المريض يعني اميونو جلوبولين كامز فروم بلازما سيلز بلازما سيلز كيم فروم بي سيلز فبالتالي هذا المريض حكينا يعني هايبو اميونو جلوبولين هايبو اميونو جلوبولين ممكن تصير اوكي بيكوز اوف ذا ديزيز اتسلف ات كان هابن فبالتالي ذس كومبليكيتس ايفن ذا سيناريو مور اند makes the patient more immunosuppressed and the risk of infections is high. طبعاً كل ما كان الدرلي المريض يعني the ability to survive such infections يعني is less. فبالتالي الفلود أربيين uh, uh, on routine, routinely بنعطي معه الـ, uh, هذا الباكج أوكي okay, من الـ, الـ, الـ antimicrobial therapy وكمان some targeted therapy we do the same رح نحكي عنها هلا لقدام. Another uh, chemotherapeutic drugs we can use هو البندامستن. Okay. البندامستن هو عبارة عن يعني هو alkylating agent. Okay. بس مختلف شوي عن other alkylating agents in its structure. ف يعني يعني ما في cross resistance. Okay. طبعا ال 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 resistance uh, some is a is a is a problem is a limitation بال بال cancer management. وفي انواع من الكانسر ريزيستنس هي بتكون تو ذا جروب اور تو ذا فاميلي يعني مثلا اف ذا سيل اف ذا كانسر سيل از ريزيستنت تو ذيس دراج ان الكيليتنج ايجنتس ات از لايكلي تو بي ريزيستنت تو انذر دراجز ان ذا سيم جروب هاي بنقولها كروس ريزيستنس اوكي ان ذا فاميلي اور ان ذا كلاس البندامستن الادفانتج له انه لو صار ريزيستنس على الكيليتنج ثيرابي And likely إنه يصير resistance على البندامستر، أوكي؟ ف فهو كمان من الأدوية اللي يعني تنضاف على بروتوكولات ال ال C L L. ال ال toxicity إله هي هي most hematologic كمان بيعمل مايلو suppression وإله skin toxicity. لا ال 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 B cell as we said this is a B cell disease okay CLL is a B cell disease فبالتالي the B cell is positive to uh, certain unique service markers like the CD20 okay فبالتالي I can add targeted therapy to to chemotherapy uh, actually it has been found that if you add anti CD20 uh, monoclonal antibodies the response is even improved okay لما بنحكي عن الانتي سي دي 20 تارجتد ثيرابي وي هاف ريتوكسيماب حكينا عنه قبل هيك بال بال روماتويد ارثرايتس رح نحكي عنه بالتفاصيل اكثر لما بنحكي عن النون هوتكن لمفوما فريتوكسيماب هو ممكن يعني ذا فيرست مونوكلونال انتي بودي اجينست سي دي 20 اتس ا كايمريك انتي بودي اوكي الريتوكسيماب بالسي ال ال اوكي can be added, it improves the response rate, but it's more efficient or more active in, in, um, in treatment of non-Hodgkin lymphoma, but we add it, not rituximab when we treat CLL, okay? Ofatumumab, again, a CD, uh, anti-CD20, but this is a humanized monoclonal antibody, okay? فإذا هو والريتوكسيماب they are in the same group anti CD20 monoclonal antibodies لكن ال risk of um, يعني allergic reaction hypersensitivity reactions with ofatumumab هو أقل because this is a humanized fully humanized monoclonal antibody هلا ال ofatumumab مش routinely added to the regimens not like rituximab Rituximab is more common in use, okay, to add to fluid arabine or to add to cyclophosphamide-based regimens. Ofatumumab indication is a single agent, okay, but refractory, okay, to fluid arabine or alimtuzumab, another monoclonal antibody, okay. But it is a very specific indication. It is not any patient with CLL that gives you cyclophosphamide with, for example, steroid or fluid arabine with cyclophosphamide, but I will add it to it. من الفيرست لاين بضيف له افاتوموماب لا اوكي الريتوكسيماب مور يعني مور بابيلر بالريجيمنتس الالمتوزوماب از ا سي دي 52 انتي سي دي 52 مونوكلونال انتي بادي فذس از ذا تارجت اوكي سي دي 52 ان لايك سي دي 20 ذس از ا ماركر ذات وي كان سي ان بوث بي ان تي سيلز فبالتالي لما انا بعطي الالمتوزوماب ذات كان اكشولي تارجت My my uh, B and T lymphocytes, 
this causes even a greater myelosuppressive activity. Okay, يعني هذا كمان مريض بيكون even more immunocompromised. عشان هيك الألمتوزوماب كمان اليوز تبعه هو very restricted. هو salvage regimen. Okay. ليش؟ لأنه the risk of immunosuppression أو ال يعني إنه عمل سيفير myelosuppression مع الألمتوزوماب عالي لأنه كمان رح يأثر على ال T cell. Okay, it will attack both B and T cell. Okay. طيب خلينا نوقف هون عند الألمتوزوماب ما حدا يطلع لو سمحتوا Okay. Type. I downloaded the attendance list. Okay. We're going to move on. We'll continue the CLL in the next lecture, inshallah. Doctor Bilal is actually working to, يعني 